Hello everyone, and welcome back to our journey towards a healthier, happier you. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for a balanced life mindful movement. Imagine a calm morning with the world slowly waking up. A gentle breeze, chirping birds, and you, ready to start the day with energizing workouts. Bah wait, what exactly is mindful movement? Being aware of your body's natural indications while moving is known as mindful movement. It's a type of exercise that places an emphasis on unique activity patterns based on your feelings, mood, and health. Numerous research have indicated that mindful exercise might help treat illnesses including anxiety and sadness. Additionally, it has been demonstrated that activity and movement help older persons function more cognitively. In a study, older persons said that practicing mindfulness led to their improved awareness and self-reflection. This improved their self-care practices and led to a more welcoming attitude toward themselves. The practice of mindfulness can help you take better care of yourself and become more aware of your surroundings. This is crucial in today's age because we can easily become preoccupied with the world in our hands, our phones, and forget what matters most to us. Let's kick things off with a morning ritual that'll set the tone for your entire day. Stretching. It's like giving your body a warm, welcoming hug. Reach up to the sky, feel your muscles waking up, and gently touch your toes. A beautiful way to say good morning to your body, don't you think? Now, we all have busy days, and sometimes the gym seems light years away. But fret not, because you can sneak in workouts right at your desk. Leg lifts, seated leg raises, and even desk push-ups. A few minutes here and there, and you'll be surprised how they add up. Ah, the joy of dancing. It's not just for special occasions. Put on your favorite tunes and let loose. Dance like nobody's watching. It's a fantastic way to keep your body moving, your heart pumping, and your spirits soaring. Now, let's take our workout outdoors. The park, a sanctuary of fresh air and natural beauty. A brisk walk, yoga on the grass, or even some bodyweight exercises. It's like Mother Nature herself designed this gym just for you. Exercise isn't just about the body, it's about the mind too. Linda Graham, a specialist in resilience and an author, discusses how mind-body awareness may provide strength and confidence when facing self-doubt. It can even begin with something as basic as how we sit or stand. According to a study published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, we tend to feel more self-assured when we hold our body wide and upright with our head held high. So, when we experience feelings of anxiety or shyness, adopting a more assured stance might help us combat those emotions and embrace that power. Yoga can boost one's self-esteem as well. According to a study, adopting open, expansive postures while working can improve the subjective sense of being energetic, empowered, and in control. Even two minutes of open posture yoga might have a positive impact on our mood. Additionally, scheduling physical activity into our days can improve focus and our capacity for organizing our objectives. Here are some ways you can bring mindful movement to your exercise routine. Don't forget the reason you want to meditate. Is it to help you develop attentional and focusing skills? To develop emotional intelligence? Also take into account why you want to work out. Is it to have more energy or to live longer? You may find it easier to start going and stay going with this dual motive. Avoid talking on the phone, reading magazines, watching TV, or listening to your favorite playlist if you want to meditate. No matter where you are, in the woods, on the sidewalk, or on the treadmill, be fully present. Focus on the sensations you are having in your body. Are any areas of your body exerting more effort? How does your body feel now compared to yesterday? While working out, your inhale or exhale can serve as an anchor for your focus. If your thoughts start to stray while you're out for a run, perhaps you spot a new, for sale, sign in the area or remember an email you meant to reply to but forgot, just acknowledge the thought and return to your breathing. As you exert more effort and as you wind down, pay attention to the rhythm of your breath. Try focusing your attention on something other than your breath, such as the ups and downs of a lunge or each complete revolution of your bike pedals. As you alter your practice, you can change your anchor, but keep your attention on the beat of your current anchor and come back to it when your thoughts stray. 
Focused attention and open awareness are the two components of directing attention, and you can exercise both of them. Examine your surroundings in order to tap into the latter. How does the air feel? Temperature? What sound do you hear? Acceptance, or not longing for the present moment to be anything other than what it is, is one of the attitudes of mindfulness. A great moment to put this into practice is while exercising. Do you encounter any resistance during your workout, such as a desire to be almost finished or a wish that your quads would stop trembling? Make a commitment to your training time, keep in mind why you are there, and make an effort to remain present throughout. Take a moment for some mindful breathing. Close your eyes, inhale deeply, hold, and then exhale. It's amazing how a few moments of intentional breathing can center you. So there you have it, a day filled with mindful movement. Remember, it's not about how much you do, but about doing it with intention. Until next time, keep moving, keep smiling, and keep living well. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mindful living tips. Stay tuned for our next adventure together. Take care.